always good everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. Well, we have just arrived in the Isle of Skye, which is a little island, I think, just, just attached to the UK. And I am here for a week because I am filming two projects, well, actually filming one project and shooting another project for Columbia and for the lovely guys over at Sigma. They've asked me if I would kindly test out the Sigma FP which is one of the smallest, I think, if not the smallest full frame mirrorless camera which shoots at 12 bit cinema raw DNG, which is nuts. Actually, I think I've got one here. I'll show you how small it is. So in this little pouch here is the full camera itself with a kit lens on, which is the 45 mm f 2.8. So that right there, is how small this camera is. Honestly, the surface area of this is probably the same size, if not smaller than my iPhone. And this is the camera which I'm gonna be using throughout this whole trip. I'm gonna be taking pictures on it. I'm gonna be shooting all my video on this. And they are also sending me another one in the post so that I can get photos of it. So I'm basically filming with two cameras, which is why I have the Ronin RS2, which my friend Con kindly lent me for this trip because I didn't wanna go all out and pack a really, really heavy gimbal because we're gonna be going up mountains and go rock climbing and going to all these cool locations, which we will be location scouting today, which is the purpose of this vlog because we're gonna be going and basically looking at all the locations that we're gonna be shooting at. Planning days when you're away somewhere, planning what you're gonna do on each day is really, really good. So that is the whole purpose of today. We're gonna to go to like two or three different locations, see them, see where we're gonna go and shoot. Uh, and just check them out really, because this is my first time in Scotland. I've never been to Scotland before, believe it or not. This is like the most stressful part about doing filmmaking and sort of video work is there's just so many bits to think about. As you'll know from my Maldives video, I tried to pack really lightly for that video. Whereas now I've decided, no, I'm gonna go all out and just bring absolutely everything. Um, so we've got my camera bag, Ronin bag, another backpack to fit more lenses and things in. And then obviously my laptop and then the boys who I'm with who are helping me film really kindly have also got their stuff. So we've got a lot of camera gear. This is the new 85 mil by Sigma. This is like the smaller version of my one. And this also has an aperture ring. It'll be interesting to see how this compares to obviously my normal 85 mil, which is like double the size. I feel like they are the same, but it'll be interesting to see how they compare. As much as I want to vlog absolutely everything on this trip, I do have work to do. So sometimes I'll have to prioritize like my work and what we're actually here for over the videos because I'll need to sort of make sure that we're sticking to the brief. It can get a bit stressful at times. So I'll try my best to document as much stuff as I can. But if I can't, there will be a lot of BTS videos, which I'll probably be releasing sooner down the line. If this vlog suffers, I'm sorry, but we have quite a lot of work to do in like a short space of time. I think we're here for a full six days, not including today. So we drove up here last night and it took us 11 hours, 25 minutes. Plus all the breaks. So this morning I was woken up at, what time is it Isaac? 8.15? For what? 8.15 we were woken up by what sounded like... <laughs> Insert meme here. Yeah, it sounded <laughs> like we were landing in war zone. It was hail. Yeah, the rain was nuts. So we got a slanted roof on top of our bedrooms. The rain in the air was crazy. I mean, the last time I went traveling was December in the Maldives. Boiling hot, nothing compared to this. But do you know what? I actually prefer this type of weather. You know, I'm pretty warm in this jacket and a fleece, but you don't get that. I'm gonna stick on the 85 mil and get some shots of these boats uh, on the harbor because it looks really nice. I like that orange boat over there. I feel like that would give it some, some pop. So this is my first time seeing this waterfall and our aim is to actually get down to it. Not today though, on a day where it's probably a little bit more, a little bit more cloudy. Oh my God, holy crap. Okay. We need to get down there. So I don't know if you guys can see, there's a rainbow right there. I don't even know if the camera's picking it up. That's right on the waterfall, you know. 
Do you think there's a pot of gold over us? A leprechaun. Lep <laughs> so that is our cue to leave. It's literally about to pour it down with the rain. But it's a rainbow. And it starts there and goes all the way around to there. I don't know why I'm talking about this rainbow. We need to dip. Oh no, it's stacked. Oh no. We're in shambles. Oh. Oh, no, let's go, bro. We're in shambles. And just like that, three seconds later, it stopped raining. Honestly, this weather is super unpredictable because over there it's cloudy, over there it's sunny, over there it's snowing. Check this view though, behind me. So good, so good. I need gyms to be open. Usually I wouldn't be this out of breath after walking up a steep hill. Oh. Honestly, this is like something from Lord of the Rings. The way that this whole place looked is insane. The winds are picking up though. The winds are strong up here. I hope we don't get caught in rain because that won't be fun. The final gate. And then all it is, is this little path here all the way to the top. I've completely lost the others. Now that wasn't actually as bad as I thought, to be honest. It looks a lot steeper from down there, but I'm here. Look at that. That is unbelievable. Whew. Okay, I reckon 10 more minutes and I can get up to one of these. I'm here, I'm actually here. There's actually a little lake, a smaller lake embedded up here, which I didn't know about. But it's pretty cool, look at that. Just a small little cozy lake just tucked away, which looks so nice. Wow, I'm out of breath. Whew. Feels good though, feels good to be outdoors for once, not stuck at home. So after an hour and a half long walk, we have made it to this waterfall. Mate, this has been a mission. We've had to walk all the way down here, all the way down these rocks and to the waterfall there. But this location is absolutely insane. We're literally on the coast of the Isle of Skye. You can see all mountains over there in the distance. This is gonna be an insane shoot. Um, I love the way that this rock here, it's kind of like goes from sort of like a light brown to black where the waterfall is. So we're going to head over there now, probably like another 10 minutes of climbing over these sus rocks. They're super slippery as well. Like these ones are just death. So we had to be very careful about where we stepped. Everything is bare slippy right now. It's all fucking green moss and shit. Okay, I'm gonna go to say. Just watch out for all these, they are mad slippy. Just plant your feet and put your hands down. Yeah. We made it! Woo! Well done, well done. <sighs> so much better from looking down. 100%, 100%. That's insane. Okay, now, time to take some pictures. Bend a bit to your right. Yep, a bit back. That's it, that's it. Yeah. 
twist your body like it as if you're scaling up the rock. Yeah. Hold it. So I thought I'll just wrap up this video here. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I didn't want to really give away too much about what we were filming on all of the other days because I kind of want to save that for like BTS videos when I release the short film, which I am going to be working on pretty much all month. Let me know as well what you think of me incorporating the POV stuff like I did in this video and my last vlog when I was out shooting the cars in the snow. Let me know what you think of that style because I think it's a lot easier for me to just to have a GoPro on or whoever's taking photos to have a GoPro on and just basically document the whole process rather than just getting b-roll and stuff in between I feel like it's a lot more interesting and it's a lot more engaging for you guys to actually see how we take the photos that we are pretty much taking in the video if that makes sense if you did enjoy this video please leave a like rating subscribe if you are new to the channel drop a comment let me know what you thought all of that stuff we're nearly at 50k subs which is nuts I don't understand how that's happened. Follow me over on Instagram because that is where I post pretty much all of my content, all of my updates with my YouTube videos, what's coming up, previews, trailers, all that stuff. Follow me over on Instagram and I shall see you all very, very soon in the next POV. Take care, peace.